Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Becky and it is lovely to meet you. Today I'm sharing with you my vegetable casserole. So for the casserole, I have some potatoes, an onion, I have some broccoli, some carrots, some mushrooms. Um, I was going to use a fresh carrot, but I actually forgot to pick it up at the shop. So I've got some frozen carrots that I'm gonna use instead. I've got some cherry tomatoes to put on top. Um, some grated cheese to go on top and then for the sauce I've got some eggs, some sour cream and then I've got salt, pepper to season, garlic granules, oregano, some olive oil to cook it in, milk for the sauce. So yeah, let's start cooking. I started by peeling my potatoes. I peeled four potatoes. Um, obviously you can do as many as you want for your casserole but I found four good sized potatoes was the perfect amount and this served four of us a really good portion. Once they were all peeled, I just sliced them up and then cut them into like chunks. I wasn't overly precise with this, but yeah, just cut them into kind of smaller chunks or squares. And this is going to be the base of the casserole. Once I had chopped them all up, I popped them into a frying pan with some olive oil and you just want to fry them until they are half cooked because they will go into the oven um, when the casserole is all together. Um, but yeah, at the moment, you just kind of want to fry them to start softening them. added some black pepper for seasoning obviously you can put as much or as little as this in as you want it's kind of down to your personal taste and preference I then also added in some salt I also put in some garlic granules and this just gave the potatoes a really nice flavor so yeah just kind of fried these until they were kind of half cooked While the potatoes were still cooking through, I started chopping up a whole broccoli. And then I'm going to pop this into a saucepan with some water and just boil. Again, just to kind of soften them before they go into the oven. In the water, I just added a pinch of salt. diced up one onion and also chopped up some mushrooms I then 
cut out my casserole dish and just put the potatoes all into the bottom. These are the base of the vegetable casserole. So yeah, I just filled the whole bottom of the tray. These smelt amazing with the garlic. They were making me super hungry at this point. I then added in the onion that I chopped up and the mushrooms into the frying pan. I also add in some frozen carrot. I did mention at the start of this video, I was going to get one fresh carrot and chop up, but yeah, I forgot to pick it up at the shop. So I had some frozen carrot in my freezer, so I just added some of this in. Now with all of this, I don't really tend to measure. I kind of just put in what I thought. Um, so yeah, I put one pack of mushrooms in and then a couple of handfuls of carrot and one onion. And I'm just gonna fry this in my olive oil. I'm going to add some black pepper again for seasoning. Some salt. Again, this is all down to personal preference, how much you put in. And some more garlic. And this time I also added in some oregano. And then I did just put a bit more olive oil in just to cook these. Now it's time to put the broccoli on top of the potatoes. So this has now softened slightly. You don't want it to be too soft because it is going to cook in the oven also. So yeah, just spooning this on top of the potatoes. You can also see that the mushrooms, the carrots and the onion have also all cooked through. They have softened. So that is then going to go on top of the broccoli. And the flavours in this, when I was putting it into the casserole dish with the garlic and the oregano, honestly smells amazing. So yeah, just pop in all that in and then it's time to make the sauce. Then for the sauce, I measured out 100 millilitres of milk. I use semi-skinned milk. I then put in two big dollops of soured cream. And then you need four eggs and I gave this a really good stir. simply then just pour this all over and then once this was all in I just topped it with some grated cheese I just use some mature cheddar grated cheese you could use parmesan if you wanted to I also just chopped up some cherry tomatoes and put on top just for that added bit of flavor and then once this is all done it's ready to go into the oven It's then time to put it in the oven. So I preheated my oven at 180 degrees and I put this in for 30 minutes. So here is my vegetable casserole all done. And I literally just served it by itself and it was so tasty. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please like, subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. Um, and yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think.